Hi everyone, welcome back to Prakasham Tutorials. In this video, I am going to design quasi lumped high pass filter using HFS software. High frequency filters constructed from quasi lumped elements may be desirable for many applications, provided that these elements can achieve good approximation of desired lumped elements over the entire operating frequency band. The simplest form of high pass filter so this is the low pass filter prototype filter and this is high pass filter circuit. The simplest form of high pass filter may just consist of a series capacitor so which is often found in applications for different for direct current series capacitor and shunt inductor so this is high pass filter circuit diagram and this this is the layout of a quasi lumped high pass filter in micro strip so micro strip high pass filter quasi lumped so now here so this is capacitor c1 that is series capacitor and this is the capacitor c3 this is also series capacitor and this strip line is inductor inductive element L2 so now here I am considering in this design the operating frequency is 1.5 GHz and type of the material is Rogers RT Duroid 5880 and its dielectric constant is 2.2 and height of the substrate is 1.57 and the substrate length and width of the uh, length and width of the substrate is 25 mm and 30 mm so now open HFS software so now we are in this uh, inductor and capacitor element So the inter-digital capacitor determined this approach is compressed 10 finger elements. So now we are the finger elements. Now we are, now here I am considering 10 finger elements that are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In this side another 5, 5 plus 5, 10, 10 finger elements. Each of which is 10 mm. The length of finger, length, finger element length is 10 mm and width is 0.3 mm and the spacing is 0.2 mm so now open HFS software first design first draw the substrate select the box draw the box anywhere in the plane give the rename of this box one Give the rename of this box one substrate and select type of the material. The type of the material is Rogers RT. Rogers RT derived 5880 and its dielectric constant is 2.2 So change the dimensions of the substrate and X size is 30 mm and Y size is 25 mm, 30 mm and 25 mm and thickness height of the substrate is 1.57 so minus 1.57 and X portion is half of the X size value minus 15 and Y size value half of the Y size 
before indicating negative sign minus 12.5 mm and Z portion is 0. So click OK button. Select fit all. So this is substrate. So below the substrate we can design ground plane. Select the rectangular sheet. Draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. Give the rename of this rectangular sheet 1. This is ground plane. Change the dimensions of the ground plane. The length and width of the ground plane is same as that of the length and width of the substrate. So now we are done. X size is 30 and Y size is 25 mm. Axis is the Z axis. X position is minus 15 mm. Y position is minus 12.5 mm. So now here the height of the substrate is 5.1.57. So the ground plane is below the substrate. So now here the Z position is minus 1.57 mm. Click OK button and rotate the structure. So this is ground plane. So on the top of the ground plane is substrate. So on the top of the substrate we can design micro strip high pass filter. Series capacitors C1 and C3 and uh, shunt inductor L2. So now here this is inductor L2 and this is capacitor C1 and this is capacitor C2 and the length of the inductor L2 is 9.9 .9 and uh, that width is 2.0 mm. And X size is 30. And rotate the structure. Select the rectangular sheet. Draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. So give the rename of this rectangular sheet. This is inductor L2. So now change the dimensions of the inductor L2. So the inductor L2, so Y size length is 9.9 mm and width is 2 mm. So minus 2 and position and X position value is 1 mm. And y position value is half of the y size before indicating negative sign minus 9.9 by 2. Get position is 0. So click OK button. So this is inductor L2. So next, rather uh, select the rectangular sheet. So draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. So give the rename of this rectangular sheet. This is capacitor C1. So now change the dimensions of the capacitor C1. And axis is the Z axis. So now we are the uh, X size is 3.8 mm. And Y size is 4.9 mm. So now we are this total width is 30 mm and this length is 10 and uh, finger length is 10 mm. This length 10 mm. 10 plus 10, 20, 20 plus 2, 22. Uh, 22 plus 0 0.2. This width is 0 0.2. So 22.2 and uh, 30 minus 22.2 and the remaining value and half of that remaining value. So this length. So that is 3.8. And X position value is 15 mm and Y position value is 
minus 4.95 and z portion is 0 mm x size is 3.8 minus 3.8 and y size is 4.9 15 minus 4.95 z portion is 0 so now select this rectangular sheet press ctrl c ctrl v so give the rename of this rectangular sheet c3 and change the dimensions and the, now we are done and this is y axis this is x axis now where the position is minus 15 mm and x size is plus 3.8 so now draw the finger lines finger elements select the rectangular sheet so draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane and this is finger element F1 So change the dimensions of this finger element and that length is 10 mm, x size is 10 mm and y size and width is 0 0.3, 0 0.3 mm and position and x position is 1.2 mm and y position is minus 4.95, z position is 0, click OK button. And select this finger element F1, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, so now here this width is 0 0.3 and spacing is 0 0.2, so 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2, 0 0.5 and uh, Y position, now here the Y position is uh, minus 4.95. So 4.95 minus 0 0.5, 4.45. So now we have the y position is minus 4.45. So click OK button. Zero point three plus zero point two zero point five and another width zero point three zero point eight plus another spacing zero point two. So ten uh, one zero point three plus zero point two plus zero point three plus zero point two. So one. So now x position y position is three point nine five minus three point and select F1 press Ctrl C Ctrl V now with the Y portion spacing is Y portion is minus 2.95 this is another finger element press Ctrl C select F1 press Ctrl C Ctrl V change the Y portion this is minus 1.95 
so these are the finger elements capacitor c1 similarly draw the finger elements of the inductor l2 and capacitor c3 and now select finger element f1 press control c control v so change the uh, dimensions of this finger element f6 now where the x position is 1 mm and y position is minus 4.45 and x size is 10 and uh, y size is 0 0.3 so this is finger element now select this F6 press ctrl C ctrl V so now here this Y size is minus 3.45 similarly remaining finger elements of that inductors Y portion is minus 2.45 So this side finger elements of the inductor L2. And similarly draw the finger element of this side of the inductor. So now select the finger element F6, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So now we are the exposition is minus 1 mm y portion is minus 4.5 minus 4.45 z portion is 0 and x size x size is minus 10 mm z, z, y size is 0 0.3 with this 0 0.3 press ok button and select this finger element f11 copy paste now where the y position is minus And this is inductor L2 and finger elements and uh, copy paste finger select finger element F1 copy paste control C control V and this dimensions are X portion is minus 1.2 and Y portion is minus 4.95 Z axis is the Z axis, X size is minus 10 mm and Y size is 0 0.3. Click OK button and copy paste this finger element. Now where the Y portion is minus 3.95, this Y portion is minus 2.95 and after that select rectangle uh, inductor element L2 select inductor element L2 and finger elements 
f6, f7, f8, f9, f10, f11, f12, f13, f14, f15, f16. Now f15. So using control button, click unite button. So similarly, now select the capacitor elements C1, select the finger elements F1, F2, F3, F4, F5 using control button, click unite button. And select capacitor C3 and select the finger elements F16, F17, F18, F19, F20, click unite button. Now set the wire hole ground via hole ground. Select the cylinder, draw the cylinder anywhere in the plane. So this give the rename, this is via hole ground and select the type of the material is copper. So change the dimensions of this via hole ground and radius is I am considering 0.5 mm. And center portion is 0, 4, 0 mm and axis the z-axis radius is 0 0.5 and height and height of the substrate is here 1.57 mm and height is minus 1.57 mm click ok button so this is via whole ground And after that, select capacitor C1, capacitor C3, and inductor L2, and ground element. Right click on that portion, go to assign boundary, select perfect E, assign perfect electric boundary. So this is perfect electric boundary. Next, rotate this structure, assign port 1 lumper ports excitation. And this is y axis and z axis. Select the plane, y z plane, select the rectangular sheet. So, draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. So, give the rename of this rectangular sheet. This is port 1 and change the dimensions of the port 1 and the x portion is 15 mm and y portion is minus 4.95 mm z portion is 0 and y size 
and that width of the capacitor C1 is 4.95 so Y size is 4.95 and uh, height of the substrate is 1.57 1.57 mm so Z size is minus 1.57 mm so click OK button select port 1 copy paste press ctrl C ctrl V in port 2 change the exposition sign minus 15 mm and rotate the structure so this is port 2 now assign lumpur port excitation of port 1 and port 2 select port 1 right click on port 1 go to assign excitation lumpur port select new line integration so draw the new line integration from lower port to the upper port successfully defined click finish button so this is port 1 and rotate the structure and assign lumpur port excitation of port 2 select port 2 right click on port 2 go to assign excitation select lumpur port draw the new line integration from lower port to upper port successfully defined click finish button so now coming back to the xy plane now set the analysis setup go to the simulation so now the operating frequency is 1.5 GHz maximum number of passes are 12 maximum delta s is 0.02 click ok button and select the sweep type is fast and starting frequency is 1 gigahz and ending frequency is 3 gigahz and points are 101 click ok button So next create open region radiation boundary go to the model right click on the model select create open region click ok button so this is open region boundary so now check the design validation go to the simulation click validate button so design is successfully validated now start the simulation press analyze all button Simulation is completed. Next up there are the high pass filter response curve. Go to the results. Create model solution data report. Rectangular plot. Select S parameter S11 and S21 in this bulb. S11 is the return loss curve. S21 is the insertion loss or high pass filter response curve. Click new report. Now we are the this uh, red color curve is return loss curve, S11 is return loss curve and S21 is the high pass filter response curve. 